talked about capsule closets on the channel before, but this is the very first time where I've actually reorganized my closet so that any off-season items are stored away. I've never done this before because to be completely honest, the word capsule to describe my closet never really resonated. I love looking at my clothes and feeling like my closet is abundant and like it has a lot of choice that I can get creative with, even if it is edited and smaller. I just it never really resonated with me. So that mindset for me has been really helpful in just changing the terminology and I don't know maybe also it's because I like to feel bougie and call my clothing little collections and it makes me feel like I'm shopping from a boutique instead you know whatever works so today I'm gonna go over what's in my core collection and what's in my fall and winter collection and I'm gonna put together some outfits probably in a little like lookbook format using the overarching elements of style and themes that I pulled out of these two collections so hopefully you find this helpful and if you want to dive more into elements of style and shopping your closet find me on IG you can also find me at our final shop your closet event of 2022 we've got a holiday theme so we're gonna look at some more elevated looks but this is a really fun two-hour event it's super interactive where we shop the closets of two fabulous guests so there's a lot of like real-time interactive styling it's just a really good motivator to see how you can really personalize your own closet and learn to identify elements of style from within it and get even closer to your own personal style. I will leave all of the details for tickets and everything for you in the description box below. Let's jump on in. Editing your closet into these smaller collections really isn't complicated. At least it wasn't for me. All I did was a pretty solid edit and then whatever pieces that were left, I divided them into sections, into these smaller collections and stored the ones that don't pertain to my everyday. So that was spring, summer, because I am deep in winter already, and my evening wear. So I keep my core collection out all year round, and I've added some fall winter pieces. Especially if you're just starting to work on a more edited closet, or you're really trying to slow down your consumption, and you have a lot of clothes to begin with, I think this is the easiest way to start working with smaller collections in your closet. Once you've got your collection narrowed down, wear it for a couple of months. And I would say try to find the through lines, the common elements of style, whether it's cut, silhouette, how you like playing with proportions, any color themes that you can see, and fabrics and textures that you really like repeating. I don't think that you can get to these really well edited collections overnight. It does take a little bit of introspection. So something else that I would do would be to take a picture of your outfit every day as you're trying to work with these collections. Then you'll get a really good sense of what you're missing and what you love. Right now, just as a visual, I've got my core pieces on this rack and a couple in these drawers. And then in here, these are the winter additions. In here, these are the winter additions as well. So I just wanted to give you a visual of like how many items approximately would be in each collection, but I don't think there is a right number of items to have, a right color palette, a right number of like skirts versus trousers versus dresses. All of that is going to be completely up to you and your own outfit formulas and how they fit into your regular lifestyle. So I think what's most important is just to be realistic about what you own and what you wear every day. So I'm going to go over what's in my core collection. I've got two skirts, two dresses, a silk camisole, two blouses, four blazers, a denim jacket, six button-up shirts, five lightweight sweaters, two t-shirts, one long sleeve tee, one jumpsuit, a bustier, three silk scarves, and five pairs of jeans. In my fall winter collection, I have two button-ups, two jackets, one blazer, one faux fur vest, one blouse, four skirts, one pair of gold pants. Love that that is in a winter collection, but I didn't want to put it in evening wear. One pair of wide leg trousers, one pair of boot cut trousers, one dress, four scarves, two fancy sweaters, 13 cozy sweaters, one sporty sweater, two pairs of leggings, two pairs of jeans, and one pair of leather trousers. That is the winter collection. I have quite a few shoes. 
I definitely don't have all season shoes. It's Canada, that is like an impossible thing. So I've got a couple of boots and that's it. I've got a little lookbook for you that I've put together. I'm gonna go through some of the elements that hopefully you see through that and I hope this helps you.
that is what I have for you today. I hope this video took the intimidation factor out of decluttering or capsules or closet collections or whatever you want to call them. I hope it inspires you to get creative with what's already in your closet and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. I have those tickets for you in the description box below if you're interested in joining us for our last live virtual Shop Your Closet session. It'd be so great to have you. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll be back with another slow fashion video. Ciao!